on day one, I spawned in as Elemental Flash. Because of all of my elements, I never felt so fast before in my life. I looked around at my surroundings and noticed everything was destroyed. What happened here? Just then, my enemy, the Reverse Flash, zoomed in. Well, if it isn't the Elemental Flash. Using your elements, I shall rewrite reality to ruin your life. All your loved ones, all superheroes will be disposed of. What? No way. I ran in and the reverse flash and I began to fight. Since we were both speedsters, we were evenly matched. Time itself felt so slow. Our battle was long and intense, but with one strong lightning punch, I was knocked back. He then pulled out a strange device and began to run circles around me. Oh no, what's happening? In a flash, all of my elements were taken away. I never felt weaker and I only had five hearts. No, I knew since I was weak, I had to run. I tried to run as fast as I could, but noticed I wasn't nearly as fast as I was before. Soldiers, he must not escape after him. On day two, I was running away as fast as I could. Reverse Flash's soldiers were right behind me. And I knew that I couldn't run like this for long. I was then quickly stopped when I was cut off by a cliff. Oh no, I'm trapped. I turned around and saw the troops not too far away. Knowing I was doomed either way, I jumped. Phew! It wasn't long until I spotted a cave underneath. I know they're still looking for me. I have to take cover. I went inside of it and was able to hear the troops nearby. You couldn't have gone that far. You ain't that fast anymore. I kept going and was quickly met with a creepy opening. You know, maybe I'll go back. As I turned around though, the soldiers spotted me. You thought you could run? The soldiers began to shoot at me and I thought I was surely done for. That's when I saw a dark figure jump in and block the gunshots. Who's that? My vision began to turn blurry and I slowly passed out. On day three, I awoke in the middle of a destroyed area. What is this place? I then turned over and saw a man glide from a treetop. Wait, Batman? That's right, kid. Follow me. We both walked around the destroyed area. What is this place supposed to be? This place used to be our base, the Hall of Justice. It's been destroyed by the Reverse Flash's forces. Listen closely, Flash. It's up to you to stop him. No one else can. We're all too slow. It's up to me? He was able to take my elements without a problem. How am I supposed to defeat him now? By getting the elements back. I've done research. I know how we can turn you back into the elemental flash and stop this madman. You must start by obtaining the earth element. Take this. Batman then threw me over an earpiece and a map. I will communicate to you through this. Now go and retrieve the earth element flash. The world is counting on it. On day four, I was out in search of the earth element. Up ahead, you should see a bunker. You need to get inside of it. I saw the entryway and headed inside. That's when I noticed a large, lush cave. The earth element has to be here. It wasn't long before I came across a lever on a wall. I flipped it, which caused a tiny poison fungus to run out. What the? Ah! The Flash! You're not welcome here! You need to go! Not welcome? I hear the Earth element lies within this cave. I need it! Is that so? Well then, I shall bring you to my evil queen. But be warned, she will not be happy about this. Your queen? The fungus then walked into the doorway, and I followed. It wasn't long until I was met with an opening that showed an earth throne. Sitting on it was no other than Poison Ivy herself. Ha ha ha! If it isn't the Flash. Queen! I brought you... Be gone, filthy insect! The poison fungus looked sad and walked away. Let me guess. You're here for the earth element? I looked over and saw the element itself lying on top of a pillar inside of her room. Listen, I need it. I need to stop. Who? Reverse Flash. I am working for him. He's promising me great things. 
And if I kill you, he'll reward me in his new reality. No! Poison Ivy then began to attack me. She had the power to control the earth around her, as well as pulling up poisonous runes from below. I did my best and fought back. Her attacks hurt a lot. And without my speed, I had a severe disadvantage. I was about to die when all of a sudden, the poison fungus ran over and picked up the earth element. Catch! It threw the element over, which caused my body to change. Green electricity sparked around me. I gained five more hearts and now had green marked throughout my suit. I also noticed I felt much faster than before. You did dare betray me? Oops. Awesome. I went in and started to fight Poison Ivy. Because of my upgrade, I now had a new ability that allowed me to summon lightning ruins from the earth below. No. No! Poison Ivy was defeated and from it fell out a note. I went over and gave it a read. Don't worry, sir. We have found Superman and locked him away. He knew too much about the elements and shall meet his fate soon enough. They have Superman? Oh no, I have to save him. On day 67, I brought the poison fungus back to the Hall of Justice. Thanks for the help back there. But why did you save me? My queen has always treated me horribly. I don't know why I did, but I'm glad I did it. Me too. I walked over to Batman and he was shocked to see the little guy. We are keeping it. Are we? With the help of Batman, we started to build up the Hall of Justice for the three of us. I went out and got enough materials to make myself stone tools, while Batman used his gadgets to build up a new baseline for our home. I came back with my new tools and built up a small starter house for us in the meantime. One day, this will be a new and improved Hall of Justice. Not without a reliable food supply, it won't. Good call. I decided to go out and find plants so we can start a farm. As I was venturing out, I ended up finding something much worse. There was a large blackstone fort. What is this thing? I decided to get a closer look and noticed reverse flashes soldiers were there holding a weird green looking ore. With all this kryptonite men, Superman will never escape our prison. Prison? I need to find out where it is. If I save Superman, he can help me find the next element. Since I was distracted, I got shot from behind. Ouch! I turned around and saw one of Reverse Flash's soldiers. I felt stunned and couldn't move. What's going on? My oh my, the Flash. When Reverse Flash gets here, you are done for. On day eight, I was put inside of a prison. Great. Now what? I tried to see if I could break out, but these blocks weren't breaking. Ah, if reverse flash gets here, I'm done for. Great job getting captured, kid. Look, I don't need your sarcasm right now, okay? Just listen. With your last element, you've gotten faster. I believe with your new speed, you can now phase through blocks. I can what? Just trust me. Give it a shot. I did as Batman told me to. I started to vibrate my entire body extremely fast. This caused lightning to shoot around me continuously. I was then able to walk right through the cage. Whoa, that was awesome. Every time you get faster, you'll be able to do more and more with your speed. I can't wait to see what else I can do. I made my way through the fort until I ran inside of a computer room. Maybe I can find something here. I went through one of the computers and inside of it lied the coordinates of Superman's prison. Stay strong, suits. I'm coming. On days 9 to 10, I sped my way over to what looked like a kryptonite prison. He's being held here? I made sure to be as quiet as I could be. I didn't want to alert anyone. Eventually, I spotted Superman inside of a holding cell, and he didn't look good. Whoa, Superman? What happened to you? This kryptonite, it's draining my power. Hold still. I'll get you out. Just as I was about to free Superman from his cell, I got slammed in the back of my head with something heavy. Hey, watch it. I turned around to see a giant kryptonite guardian. Intruder. Ah! 
Ah! The guardian started attacking me. I was able to use my speed to my advantage. But every time I tried to hit it, its shields blocked me. It would shoot out heavy kryptonite attacks. But thankfully, I wasn't Superman. So it didn't hurt me that much. Because of my earth element, I was able to summon lightning shards from below it. Which hit it through its shield. Defeating it. Ha! Take that. From there, I ran over to Superman. Come on, buddy. It's time you come home. On days 11 to 12, I brought Superman back home to the Hall of Justice. Good to have the second strongest hero back. <laughs> yeah. All right. We all know who's the strongest, Bats. I hope you guys are talking about me. While they were debating, I went over and added more to the Hall of Justice. Outside of it, I added an area that would suit Superman for his journeys up ahead. And done. I hope you like it. Thank you, Flash. Batman caught me up on your mission. You'll be happy to know I have information on where you can obtain the fire element. You do? Awesome. Where? The sun. The what? I looked up towards the sun. Um, you're joking, right? You know I don't joke. Now come with me. Hey, uh, stay away from me. Before I could run, though, Superman picked me up and we flew through the sky. Ah! Put me down! On days 13 to 14, Superman flew us so high that we entered space. Wait, I can't breathe. Uh, wait, why can't I breathe? You're a superhero, Flash. Your connection to the speed force allows you to. Speed force? What is that? We kept flying until we reached the sun. Uh, this place is hot. I looked up and can see the earth from here. Okay, stay calm, Fozo. This all feels like some silly dream. Stay focused. If you want to obtain the fire element, we must travel to the sun's core. Well, lead the way. Superman brought us over to a magma crevice. We entered it, and it was extremely hot. We traveled extremely far, but eventually, we were able to find it. The sun's core. You must touch the core. Once you do, the fire element will become a part of you. Sounds easy, but at the same time, deadly enough. I walked up and was about to touch the core, when out of nowhere, a giant sun beast fell from above. Earthlings not allowed. On days 15 to 16, the sun beast charged at me. It would slam its fists down and launch me in the air. Ah! This thing hurts a lot. With its large size and boulder-like skin, it was able to power through my attacks. I tried to fight back. But alone, I didn't stand a chance. Hey, uh, help would be nice, you know? Oh, yeah, right. Superman flew in and started to use his powers to help me. I would run throughout the floor and use my lightning to attack it, while Superman took the skies and beamed down on it using his heat vision. Because of our teamwork, the beast was getting overwhelmed. This then caused him to shoot out lava at us. Using my speed, though, I dodged the attacks. Both Superman and I then charged in and attacked attacked him at once. Take this. The sun beast kneeled before us. I admit defeat. Good. I walked over and absorbed the fire element. I gained five more hearts and my suit began to change as well. I noticed now I was even faster and had a new fire blast ability. Hey, thanks for taking me here, Superman. But please take me back home. On days 17 to 18, Superman and I landed back next to a village. It didn't take long for me to realize that it was being under attack. I ran in and saw that it was Reverse Flash and his men. They were destroying this place. After a second glance, I realized that Batman was there trying to defend it. I know you are helping Flash. Where is he? You know what's good for you. You back off. Reverse Flash got aggravated and was about to hurt Batman. No, I ran in just in time. There you are. Yeah, I'm right here. If you want me, then come and get me. Using all the speed I have acquired, I ran away. But Reverse Flash was hot on my trail. I knew if I ran for long, he would for sure catch up to me. I have to find a way to lose him. I kept running and was met with an iced over ocean. Because of my new fiery touch, as I was running, the ice below me began to melt. Oh no! The ice cracked and I fell through, quickly submerging inside.
in time, Flash. In time. On days 19 to 20, I was sinking deep below the surface. Thankfully, I lost reverse flash. I swam away and tried to resurface, but because of how fast I was running, I felt so weak. I couldn't even break the ice blocks. Ugh, I can't hold my breath for too much longer. I was starting to lose hope until a spell magically got casted onto me. I now noticed that I could breathe underwater. What? Who? did this. I did. I turned around and Aquaman was there standing before me. Hey, thanks for the save. Of course. I knew you'd come here, Flash. It was only a matter of time before you came in search of the water element. Wait, do you know where it is? Where it is? No, but I know how you can get it. My magical trident. Wait, your trident can grant me my water ability? Well, what happened to it? A dangerous sea creature raided my home and stole it from Atlantis. Without it, I can't properly run my kingdom. Let's make a deal. You go out, find my magical trident, and in return, I will grant you the water element. Sounds like a deal, Aquaman. Where can I start looking? On days 21 to 23, I was swimming in search of this dangerous sea creature. Flash, thanks for the save back there. Of course. I'm just glad you guys are safe. This creature Aquaman is referring to is no joke. You must be careful, Flash. Yeah, yeah, I will. I swam fast throughout the ocean using my super speed until I was able to find a large opening. Could it be here? As I was looking, a large anglerfish slowly emerged from behind. Uh-oh. I told you. The fish swam in and started to fight me. With its giant teeth, it was no joke. I was fast in the ocean, but that did not stop it at all. How does something like this have Aquaman's trident? I tried my best to avoid its bites. I definitely did not want this thing to swallow me. Correction, I think you want this thing to swallow you. What? According to your local radar, the trident seems to be located inside of the beast. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, he thought it was a snack? Okay, here goes nothing. I used my super speed, which caused everything to slow down. I then swam directly inside of its mouth. On days 24 to 26, I was inside of the anglerfish. Ugh, this is so gross. At least I wasn't underwater anymore. So... The trident is supposed to be here? As I was making my way further inside, I noticed it lying on top of a small pile of trash. I ran over to pick it up, but then that's when I realized Aquaman's trident was broken. Oh no, how am I supposed to get the water element now? I picked up the broken trident, even though I knew it was worthless. Using my phasing ability, I was able to phase through the angler's skin and escape its stomach. There you are, Flash. Did you retrieve my trident? I'm sorry, Aquaman, but this is your trident. It's destroyed. No, not my beloved weapon. Hey, come back with me to the Hall of Justice. Maybe there we can find a new replacement weapon. Aquaman agreed, and the two of us headed out. On days 27 to 29, I arrived back at base with Aquaman. I could tell he was saddened over the loss of his trident. Because of this, I went out and got enough materials to build him an aquarium to stay at. I made sure to choose the necessary blocks so that he could feel like he's at home. Wow, this place is amazing. Thank you. Of course. Flash, there you are. Looks like you didn't become fish food. Yeah, not exactly. But now there's no possible way I can get the water element. I feel like all hope is lost. There's no possible way in this world. Yeah, that's what I said. There may be another way for you to get this water element, Flash. Follow me. Before I could say anything else, he started to run off. Hey, get back here. You know I'm the Flash, right? I, I could catch up to you. On days 30 to 32, I chased after Batman until we reached... Wait a minute, is this? That's right. Say hello to the Batcave. Oh my goodness. This place is amazing. Anyway, Batman, what's going on? I've done plenty of research on your speed. There may be a way to find a new water element. Okay, but how? In this reality, 
Aquaman's trident is destroyed, but in another reality. Whoa, whoa. Are you telling me I could travel to different realities? Batman ran over to another part of his base, and I followed after him. With your increase of speed after the fire element, I believe you're now fast enough. Take this. He then threw me over an item. What am I supposed to do with this? It's a portal pickaxe. It'll be your way back home. Now run, Fozo. Run! I did as he said, and started to run as fast as I could on his machine. Okay, let's hope this works! Ah! On days 33 to 35, I appeared in a regular village? Great. Did it not work? That's when I looked around, and things weren't adding up. Why is the sun the moon? And oh my goodness, pig villagers? What are you looking at? Uh, nothing? Oh my goodness, it worked. I looked around my nearby surroundings and saw sheep chickens, cow pigs, chicken sheeps. Oh my goodness, this is so weird. Before I could look anymore, a portal appeared and popped out a few men. Who are you guys? We are the Dimension Police. You are not allowed here. You must return home now. Uh, no, you don't understand. I need something first. The police didn't listen though and pulled out a gun. They shot at me, but I dodged causing it to hit one of the pig villagers. He vanished. What the? No, not Porky. Or was that bacon? I need to go. I ran away as fast as I could and the police were following me, shooting me from behind. I eventually met an opening and saw the Hall of Justice. Not mine, but a different one. I guess I know exactly where to hide. I ran in and watched as the dimension police ran through the area. Phew, that was close. I then heard wings flapping through the air. Uh, is anyone home? Who are you? And what are you doing here? On days 36 to 38, I was face to face with Bat? Batman? This just keeps getting weirder. I am Justice, and you are an intruder. No, wait. But he didn't listen and began to fly around and attack. Just like my Batman, he had a lot of gadgets and used his flight to his advantage. I was fighting back, but at the same time, I didn't want to hurt him. I tried my best to stun him with my Earth ability, but he was able to dodge with his size. Ugh, how is it that you're more annoying being a bat? Please stop. I'm from another dimension. Wait, are you... Are you serious? Well, what are you doing here? Look, I had no choice. I'm here because I need Aquaman's trident. <laughs> uh, good luck on that one. Good luck? Why so? He then flew out of the Hall of Justice and signaled me to follow him. He led me across some water until we reached a large opening that showed an Atlantic temple. Does he live here? Yep, and be ready, because he is one of our strongest villains yet. Wait, Aquaman is a villain here? Oh no. On days 39 to 41, Batman and I made our way inside of Aquaman's temple. So how threatening is this guy really? You noticed how I was the only one in the Justice Hall? It's because this Aquaman has the other heroes as his prisoners. Well, once I stop him, you can have your friends back. Batman was happy, surprisingly enough, and led me deeper inside. We roamed until we finally found Aquaman's main throne room, where he was sitting there, waiting. Well, 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 Batman. And it looks like you brought a friend. The name's Flash, and that trident you're holding, I need it. I know the Flash. He's a prisoner deep below my kingdom. You are definitely not him. It's a long story. Now, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Aquaman then stood up and immediately began to attack me. I guess it's the hard way. He used his water abilities on me, and they were extremely powerful. With my speed, though, I was able to dodge a lot of his attacks and catch him off guard. This angered him, causing him to summon a small army of drowned after me. Uh, stay back! I used my earth ability and took them down. And with my fire ability, I could tell I was weakening him. No! 
No! And just like that, Aquaman was down for the count. I picked up his trident and felt myself starting to change. I gained five more hearts and now had the water element coursing through my suit. Because of my upgrade, I can now shoot myself towards the sky using a water blast. Awesome! Thank you, weird human flash. Because of your actions, I can be reunited with my hero friends. Of course. I'm glad I could help. I then pulled out the dimension carver and made a portal for me to go back home. On days 42 to 44, I was through the portal, but I wasn't home. Where am I? I looked around and all I saw were red skies. Is this? Yes. It is the Speed Force. You! Why am I here? Relax, Fozo. This is a part of all of us speedsters. I notice you are making great progress. That's right. To stop you and your useless mission. Why? Why would you do something like this? Rewrite reality? Because, Flash, my life's goal is to take everything from you. All my life, I felt second to you. You were the strongest, the fastest, a flash, a hero, and me, a shadow. Once I rewrite reality, you and your hero friends won't exist, and I will rise to glory. I am almost done. You're fast, but not fast enough. I will be. You can count on that. <laughs> Good luck. If you want the lightning element, you'll have to defeat lightning itself. What? Just then, I teleported back to the overworld. Lightning itself? What is that supposed to mean? On days 45 to 47, I arrived back home with the water element and a new trident. I think I know exactly who will be getting this. I went over to Aquaman's house, and he was excited to see me. Here you go, pal. Flash, a new trident? But but how? That's not important, but hopefully now you can run your kingdom properly. Thank you, Flash. Thank you. He ran off, and I was then quickly alerted by the sound of dinging? What is that? I ran over, only to see Batman inside of the Hall of Justice. I then noticed that he was watching a video message. Is that? It's Cyborg. He's in trouble. If any other hero can hear this, my laboratory is being under attack by reverse flash forces. Please help. Help. Oh no. He needs our help. We should hurry before it's too late. On days 48 to 52, Batman and I reached Cyborg's laboratory, but everything looked destroyed? What happened here? Were we too late? Explosions and sounded off nearby, and I quickly ran over. I saw a village that was under distress, and it was being attacked by Cyborg. What? What are you doing? Must destroy village. Reverse Flash's orders. Flash, it seems as if Reverse Flash put a chip in Cyborg's mind. He's being mind controlled. Great! I watched as he kept shooting at the innocent villagers. We did nothing to you, you robot freak! Ah! I have to help them! I ran in and hit Cyborg, which made him turn his attention on me. He started to shoot at me with his powerful blasters. Ah! With his futuristic gadgets and tech, he was beating me in combat. I tried to get close, but he would fly in the sky with his jet boots. Ah! Come on! That's when an idea sparked within me. Okay, Flash, let's hope this works. I perfectly timed it and shot myself towards Cyborg with my new water ability. It was a direct hit. Perfect! This caused him to short circuit. Ouch! I'm, I'm back. Ah, thank goodness. Is it really you? Yes, I thought I was going to be mind controlled forever. Reverse Flash is getting out of hand. You're telling me. My only way in stopping him is by finding the lightning element. You know what? I think I know exactly how I can help you with that. On days 53 to 56, Batman was repairing the village while I followed Cyborg back to his lab. I watched him as he frantically ran around gathering materials. Do you want to explain to me what you're doing yet, or...? If you want to obtain the lighting element, then you must build the proper machine to catch it. I'm sorry, did you say catch it? Cyborg then jetted out of his lab. Hey! Yes, Flash, you heard me right. Meet at a far place called Mountain Thunder Rock. There you will have all your questions answered. He summoned a portal and teleported out. Well, I guess I'm walking. On days 57 to 59, 
I sped my way through the world until I reached the bottom of a very tall mountain. I looked up towards it and watched as lightning shot around the entire thing. I think this is the place. I carefully made my way up to the top while lightning kept hitting around me. <sighs> I finally made it. I looked up and saw Cyborg was waiting there for me. Took you long enough. Aren't you supposed to be fast? Yeah, yeah. I noticed that he finished building up the last of a machine. So, is this thing supposed to catch lightning or what? Precisely. This will be your entryway. Step inside. Entryway? To what? I listened to Cyborg's instructions and entered the machine. I forgot to mention this, but I'm sorry if this stings. Wait, what? He initiated the machine, causing the lightning to target me inside of it. Bolts after bolt, I was hurting a lot. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Ow! I looked around on days 60 to 64 and noticed that I was back in the speed force. Wait a minute. Defeat lightning itself. Just then, I heard a thunderous noise go off throughout the endless skies. Out of nowhere, a giant lightning dragon landed right in front of me. A competitor? Here to become one with the lightning, are you? Yes, I need the lightning element to- I do not care. If you wish to obtain it, then you must best me in combat. If not, then the lightning will consume your body, and you will die. The dragon then flew up in the air. Oh no. He flew around me and shot various lightning tacks down onto me. His slashes hurt me a lot. I tried my best to aim at him, but he was just too fast. No, this beast, it's too strong. How am I meant to defeat it by myself? Wait a minute, maybe I don't have to. My speed, rely on my speed. I ran faster and faster. Come on, come on. Just then, I was able to create a duplicate of myself. Whoa, a time remnant. Uh, what am I doing here? Listen, no time to explain. I need your help. Uh, yeah, I can see that. The dragon charged in and the both of us were able to dodge it. With me by my side, we were really putting up a fight. I would use my fire powers while my time remnant shot it with water. I could tell the dragon was getting overwhelmed. One more should do the trick. I went around and ran faster and faster just to create another one. With the the three of us all using different elements, we were able to best the lightning beast. No! No! Awesome! Whoa! Good work there, man! Yeah! We rock! We do! Because of the beast's death, I upgraded! I gained 10 hearts and now was back as the fully elemental flash! I had a new lightning ability, which caused a lightning storm to form around me! Thank you guys! You have no idea how much you've helped me. Of course, it's what heroes do. On day 65 to 68, I returned back to base with Cyborg. I knew that his laboratory was destroyed, so I went out of my way to make sure he had a nice place to call a home of his own. Thanks, Flash. I appreciate it. No problem, Cyborg. It's good to have you here. I then used my super speed to finish rebuilding the Hall of Justice. I looked around and was filled with happiness. When I got here, this place was destroyed, but now it's suited for all of us heroes again. You did it, Flash! No, I can sense something is wrong. What do you mean? Just then, the Dimension Police popped in. What the? Did you forget about us? You violated the laws of dimensions. And for that, you are coming with us. Oh no! I tried my best to use my new lightning element on them, but they were too quick and were able to dodge it. Before I could do anything else, one of the policemen shot his gun at me, which caused me to teleport. On day 69 to 73, I teleported inside of a cell. Where am I? I looked around and saw one of the police staring me down. Hey! Let me out of here! Shut up and come with me! The policeman let me out of my cell and brought me over to their main room. What is this place? Whatever it was, it was definitely not Earth. That's when I looked forward and saw an armored man waiting for me. The name's Dr. Fate. I am the guardian of all dimensions, and I know you stole a trident from one. Yeah, well, it's because- Silence! 
I know of Reverse Flash and his mission. That is why I have sent my men to retrieve you. Wait, so you're going to help me? Why? You were a pain to deal with when you went into another reality. If Reverse Flash succeeds in his mission, he can rewrite not only his, but any reality he seeks. That cannot happen. Then let me go. I have all the elements. I can take them on. Dr. Fate ignored me and started walking over to another room. Uh, hello? Did you not hear me? Then out of nowhere, a vision took place in my mind. Ah! I looked around and saw myself fighting with Reverse Flash. We both had all of our elements, but Reverse Flash? He still defeats me? You two are evenly matched right now. And if you go back, all faith will be lost. Then what am I supposed to do? You must amplify all of your elements at once, Flash. And you only do that by going into the ether. On day 74 to 79, Dr. Fate brought me over to a long, scary pit. The road ahead is a dangerous one. If you make it out alive, well done. But if not, then perhaps I'll just go find myself another Flash. Well, that doesn't sound scary at all. I look down towards the hole. Where does this lead? Ah, ouch! I looked around and was in a different dimension. Is this the Aether? Yes. Now go, obtain the ether element. From there, I saw a pillar that held a large, powerful orb. Surrounded by it was a passageway that resembled each of the four elements. I made my way forward and stepped on one of the passages. From there, I slowly but surely made it to the center. Once I reached it, something fell off. The entire realm began to shake. Oh no, what's going on? Out of nowhere, a giant aether knight dropped down and was activated. Those who enter the Aether must prove their worth! Oh no. On days 80 to 86, the knight charged in at me and started to swing its axe. I fought back against it using all four of my elements. This is one fight you shouldn't have picked. I spoke too soon because the knight hit a powerful slam onto me. Ouch. The battle was long and valiant, but I was thankfully turning the tide using my new lightning storm. Each hit I could tell was greatly hurting him. I knew what I was fighting for and knew that countless worlds out there were counting on me. I can't let them down. One more time and the night was officially down for the count. Ha! Take that. I walked up to the orb and once I touched it, my entire suit began to transform. I gained five more hearts and my red stitching turned white. Awesome. I've never felt faster before in my life. Dr. Fate teleported in and looked proud. Good work, Fozo. Now go back and save all the realities. On days 87 to 92, I was teleported back to the Hall of Justice. Man, it's good to be home. I looked around and saw all of my fellow Justice League heroes planning in the hall. Fozo, you're back. Reverse Flash, he's doing it as we speak. He is running faster than ever. And if he reaches his maximum speed, then he will rewrite reality. No, we can't let him do that. Just then, the skies all over us turned red. Oh no. Guys, we have to hurry. I ran outside with my fellow heroes and looked around at everything we had built. It's time we finish this, everyone. We have all worked hard in making sure he doesn't win. So we have to push all the way through so we can make it count. We aren't just doing this for us, but for everyone. It's time we fight back. On days 93 to 99, I found a large base that had what looked to be a circular machine. On it was reverse flash. He was running faster and faster. We need to hurry everyone. We were all going to charge in, but were quickly stopped by all of reverse flash's men. Great. Let's make quick work of these punks. Charge. All of us heroes charged in together. I ran in and used all of my elements to take out groups of them at a time. With my fire element and lightning storm, none of them even stood a chance. Batman used his grappling hook 
and various gadgets to take down some men as well. And Superman? Well, he's Superman. With all of our combined efforts, Reverse Flash's forces were thinning out. Go Flash, hurry before it's too late. You have to stop this. You're right. I looked up towards the build and ran out to confront Reverse Flash. I ran in, but he was running too fast. Oh no, I have to stop him. I began to chase after him faster and faster until everything turned white. On day 100, I looked around and realized I was inside of the Speed Force with Reverse Flash right in front of me. Flash, can't you see? It's too late. No, it isn't. I will stop at nothing to stop you from doing this. Stop me? <laughs> Never! Reverse Flash and I charged into each other. Each of us were using our elemental powers on one another. He was strong and really fast, but now so was I. It's not too late to stop this. You don't have to rewrite reality to have a better life. I can help you. I will stop at nothing, Flash. Nothing. All your pathetic friends, everyone you care about will be gone. I thought back on my entire journey, including all of the friends I made along the way. I had to stop him. I kept fighting, hitting harder and faster than I ever had before. No, no! I punched Reverse Flash one last time with my lightning slash, which caused his defeat. With him gone, my reality was now safe again.